so Mike, kind of another follow up in the previous video, we discussed about tailoring resumes and then candidates will submit their resumes to jobs and then they're waiting for a phone call or email to see if their application moved forward and they get that and then now they have to be prepared for a phone interview. In your professional experience, what tips you have to people to be prepared for a phone interview and what question they should ask at the end to the person interviewing them? Uh, that's a good question and, and I think that um, phone interviews can be quite uh, tricky for, for individuals. Uh, I think in terms of uh, tips or advice I would say is you know, you want to make sure that you do your homework on the company, uh, first of all. Uh, ensure that you got your job description in front of you. Uh, you do some homework about the interviewer uh, ahead of time. So at the end of the day, number one, be, be prepared. Uh, you want to prepare in a sense where and have the mentality that it is your, your chance to convince them uh, that, you know, their time is going to be uh, worth it for you to actually come in as a, as a secondary step uh, or maybe a Skype interview, whatever the, their interview process may be at the end of the day. Um, one of the benefits, though, of a phone interview is that uh, the interviewer can't actually see you. Uh, so you can actually have a lot of research notes uh, placed. Your, your resume can be quite easily in front of you. Uh, you may have a list of even interview tips that um, are readily available for you. Uh, so a lot, of, a lot of things can be used as a, as a reference point, uh, especially when uh, they can't see um, what you're all about. Now, on the flip side, the challenge um, which, which I hit on is, is the fact that it's hard to really read body language um, and, or facial expressions, which, uh, which as a result is really tough to actually build a, an authentic relationship when it's somebody over the phone versus uh, an, an in-person. One other thing that's really important is that uh, you want to set aside a time. If you're going to do this interview or a phone interview uh, at home, uh, get rid of that noise and distractions. You want to ensure that you lock yourself in a room, uh, that uh, your cell phone ringer is off. Uh, if you're using a landline, uh, that uh, you know your uh, your dog's not barking in the background. If you have family or kids are not uh, barging in, uh, again, you want to take that quite seriously. Uh, and some people think that uh, a phone screen is just, ah, I'm going to just uh, bypass it and, and get that interview no matter what happens. But uh, at the end of the day, you got to take things uh, seriously. In terms of questions that you want to ask, uh, I think it's important to, again, be, be prepared. I think one of my favorite questions uh, at the end of the day is, uh, I, any organization that I want to work for, I want to ensure that the culture fit is there. So I always ask our, I implore people to ask us, how would you describe the company culture today? Uh, I think that will give you a good sense of whether your personality and what you're looking for in terms of uh, vision and mission uh, and culture and in terms of DNA is in line with what you want in your next uh, position. Uh, I would also ask, um, what do you feel would be my biggest challenge in the first 90 days in the seat? Uh, because it's a good, a good opportunity to kind of look at uh, and foreshadow what uh, my onboarding is going to look like or the day-to-day -day challenges uh, may be. Because that's difficult to get answers for from just reading a, a job description. Uh, and then finally, I would maybe talk about um, uh, potential um, uh, opportunities uh, for uh, community impact or things that the organizations are doing outside of the core business. Because again, it shows a little bit more about the organization and what, uh, what they represent. Yeah, uh, so those are three, yeah. three things that uh, will be important to me as, uh, as an employee. Yeah, those are great questions to ask, uh, Mike. And again, thank you for those tips. And uh, for the audience, if you have any other tips in terms of phone interviews or questions to ask at the end of the phone interviews to interview you, please leave it in the comment section. We'd like to hear from you. Like and share the videos, subscribe to the channel, and tune in tomorrow for another question with Mike.